how to add smart value to your house. Hi, I'm Zane McLaughlin with Family to Family Real Estate, and today we are outside the beautiful Neidstein Castle, and we are going to be talking to you today about adding value to your house the smart way. We are all heading up to uh, the Neidstein Castle uh, in uh, beautiful Bavaria, Germany. Look at this. This is this is just insane. So. Uh, the castle was built back in 1015 AD and was torn down in the Great Bavarian War. Then uh, it was later rebuilt by King uh, Ludwig later on and it was passed down through different generations until Hollywood movie star Nicholas Cage bought it in 2006. So we're walking up. Most of the castle was in ruins, and Nicholas Cage was adamant about refurbishing the estate back to its former glory. He later fell into financial trouble and was forced to sell the castle to his German legal counselor. The estate became too costly, and Nicholas Cage wound up selling the castle for half of what he paid for it after he spent double the amount to fix it. The numbers for what the place sold for hasn't been released to the public, but it has been estimated in an $8 million loss. Nicholas Cage tried to restore the property back to its former glory, but found himself in a pickle when it came to the budget. It became too costly, and he lost money because of it. When thinking about adding value to your house, we must first think about what is actually adding value and not taking money away. Perhaps adding expensive granite countertops isn't the necessary item in order to add value to your house. Remember, adding expensive features doesn't always mean that it's going to add market value to your house. One of the most important ways to add market value is to have a strong online posting. For more information about online posting, see our previous video, How to Market Your House Like the Pros. One of the most important ways to improve your market value is to improve curb appeal. The first impression someone has on a house is the look of the outside. Make sure there is tasteful landscaping in front, the leaves are raked, and the grass is mowed. Also, consider the paint colors of the walls inside and outside of the house. You may like hot pink or lime green, but chances are most buyers are not going to care too much for these colors. Choose neutral colors like egg wash white, light brown, or other similar colors. Talk to your local Home Depot paint specialist for more neutral colors. It is important to have neutral colors as these appeal to the majority and will thus attract more buyers to your property. If you are considering new flooring, Instead of going with an expensive hardwood floor, perhaps you might consider a less expensive laminate flooring. It looks just as good, and if installed right, it will last longer than regular hardwood. Add the same type of flooring throughout the living room, dining room, and kitchen. This not only looks more modern, but also makes the space feel bigger than it really is. Avoid different types of flooring in every room. This looks distasteful and is often viewed as an eyesore to many buyers. Natural lighting. If your house has lots of windows, spend some time and open the drapes and let the light in, as natural light makes any room feel bigger. If you do not have lots of natural lighting already, consider adding French doors or installing larger windows. If a room seems dark, it will automatically feel small and thus will be a turnoff to most buyers. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys learned a lot. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please list them below. Um, also, please visit our Facebook page and check out some of our other YouTube videos. Peace.